Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to an all new Affordable Friday. Today I'm going to be sharing the best and worst drugstore bronzers. So I asked you guys, did I ask you on Instagram or on YouTube? I think I asked you on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, that's my shameless plug actually to follow me on Instagram because Instagram also voted for last week's Affordable Friday video, which was a full face of Flower Beauty. So if you missed that video, I will link it down below. I will also leave my affordable makeup playlist link down below. But if you do happen to be new here, be sure to follow me on Instagram. But also, if you like drugstore content, be sure to subscribe here on YouTube because I post a drugstore related video every single Friday. And today we're talking bronzer, so let's go ahead and hop into it. Okay, my hand, I just was lighting a candle that is like at the at the end and I don't have a candle lighter at the moment, so I have to use uh, the scary lighter, you know what I mean? So you have to like basically put your whole hand in the candle and the candle's at the bottom, so now, I have um, black marks from the candle all over my hand. Okay, in today's video, we've got a little bit of everything. I've got mostly powder bronzers, but we'll talk about a few cream ones. I've got a liquid option that I would recommend also. I've got a few that I don't really like, but in general, a lot of these I think are pretty good, and I will share the ones that I think are the best. Bronzer is a category that I highly recommend buying at the drugstore. I did a video recently for Affordable Friday talking about the categories that I exclusively buy at the drugstore. Bronzer is not an exclusive drugstore product for me, but in general, I feel very confident with drugstore bronzers. I feel like that's a category the drugstore does pretty well. You definitely don't need to splurge on this category. Let's start with my favorite. Now, if you are watching my Project Pan series and you don't want to see the progress on this, skip ahead for like just a little bit. But my favorite and my top recommendation would be this formula from Milani, as you can see, I'm pretty close to being done with this. This is their Silky Matte Bronzer. I have mine in the lightest shade, which is 01. I usually buy my bronzer in the lightest shade. Even though in this, I probably could use like the next shade down, but I feel like I have an easier time blending out bronzer when it's too light than too dark for me. This formula is silky to the touch, just like the name would imply. It has a good level of pigment to it. It's not like sheer, but I also don't think it's like, overly pigmented whereas some of the bronzers I'm gonna mention I feel like I dip my brush in and I have to like completely tap off so I don't get clown cheeks that's not the case with this I feel like you can build it up slowly at your own pace it always looks natural it wears well throughout the day this is definitely my top recommendation but this is also a matte finish and if you want more of a shimmery finish I have some options for that also one I'm going to pop on the screen that I actually don't like, but I know a lot of people do, is from Milani, and it is their Baked Bronzer. So that one is a baked formula, like the name would suggest, but because of that, I find it to be a little dry. That's oftentimes the case with baked products. They aren't as creamy as a traditional powder product. That one also has like somewhat tiny little gold glitter particles that go on your cheeks. I don't really like this one. I know so many people swear by it, and I know for a lot of people it's their favorite bronzer, so you might enjoy it, but I actually don't recommend that one. I just found that it was a little dry, the tone was really orangey, and then I had little glitters all over my face. A bronzer that is a similar style of bronzer to that, but I think a much better execution is this one from Flower Beauty. So this is their Heat Wave Luminous Bronzer. I have the shade Sunswept. With this one, it's warm but not orange, and that's what's really tricky to get out of a bronzer. I want my bronzer to have warmth to it. That's what makes it look natural. If it's too cool toned, that's, that's more like a contour but a lot of warm bronzers can pull super orange and that's rarely flattering. What I'm typically after with a warmer bronzer is I want more of a red terracotta undertone because that's more reminiscent of what your skin would actually do when you get a little bit of sun. So I, I like the undertone to be a little more like reddish brown as opposed to a very yellowy orange. And this I feel like in the pan looks like it would be orange and yet on the face, I don't find that to be the case. And it has a little bit of a sheen to it, but you don't see little glitter particles on your cheeks with this one. And also, even though this one is baked, it's still just so creamy. A formula that's similar to that one that I don't like quite as much is this one from the brand Florence by Mills. This is their bronzer in the shade Warm Tones. 
So this is a marbled texture. This, like it feels a little bit dry in the pan. And this one also has a little bit of a sheen to it. But I would say even more than the Flower Beauty one. Almost like highlightery. Like I don't really love this one. And of course I'll do like close-ups and swatches of all of these, but even just looking right now, like you can see how much more yellow this is, yellowy orange than the Milani one that I had swatched. And just like the sheen, I think is a little bit too much for a bronzer. I don't really love this one. I would say if you want that effect, but again, a better version of it, I would go with the flower one. Circling back to matte bronzers, one that I like a lot is the e.l.f. bronzer. This is their primer infused bronzer, and you can see I actually have a pan in this one. I have mine in the shade Forever Sun Kissed. This is another one that just feels so creamy to the touch. The undertone of this is a little bit more neutral than a lot of these other bronzers, so it's not gonna pull too orange on the skin. This I find to be really similar to the bronzer from the Balm, the anti-orange bronzer that is super popular. This formula I find to be pretty similar to that one. It's also pretty similar to the Milani one. I like the Milani one just a little bit more than this one, especially in terms of tone, but this is a really great option and it's only $6. One that I would not recommend is the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. That one is a cream formula and I actually decluttered mine. It's easy to work with, I will give it that. However, it faded on me so fast, like I could never get that to last. I, I don't have a favorite drugstore cream bronzer, but maybe I need to try the Soul Body one. My favorite cream one is this one from Tarte. This is in the shade Breezy. This is a mini, so the mini is close to a drugstore price point, and I would recommend this over the e.l.f. Like, yes, the e.l.f. is really cheap, but I, I just never liked the result of it. Even though it's easy to work with, it would not last on my cheeks. Let's, let's move over to some liquid bronzers for a minute. So, First of all, one that I really like for just ease of use is this. So this is not actually a liquid bronzer. It is a contour that I purchased in it, or no, it's a, what am I saying? It's a concealer that I purchased in a shade that works as a liquid bronzer for me. But this is so easy to work with that I wanted to mention it in this video as a recommendation. This is the e.l.f. Flawless Brightening Concealer. These retail for $5. Actually, are they six now? Because e.l.f. raised some of their prices. Okay, yes, this is $6 now. I purchased the shade Deep 58N. This is nice because, you know, it's a concealer, so it already has that applicator that's really easy to just swipe into the cheek if you want to use this kind of like a contour. The shade I have is definitely more similar to a bronzer shade for me as opposed to contour, but because this is a light coverage concealer, it's a little bit more of a sheer formula, so it's pretty easy to work with. Sometimes when you try to use a concealer as a liquid bronzer, they're not always that easy to work with because concealers are typically higher coverage products, whereas a lot of times if you're trying to use something as a cream bronzer or contour, you're looking for something more like a medium or a light coverage product. So because this formula is a lighter coverage, I feel like it's really easy to blend out for that. This one I'm going to mention, but I feel like there's something wrong with mine and I need you guys to help me out if you've tried this. This is the Heat Wave Bronzer from Flower Beauty. I thought that this was supposed to be more liquidy, but this, like, I feel like, you know when you go to Dairy Queen and they're like, look, it won't spill. Like, is it supposed to be like this? It's barely moving, you guys. So mine is a complete mousse texture. I, I do like it, like you saw me use this on camera, I think it looks really pretty, but I feel like mine has gone bad. <laughs> also, what I've noticed is that um, because this moussey texture doesn't move around, it's almost impossible for me to pick up now because when I put the dropper in, sorry, that was a gross sound, when I put the dropper in, it just goes into the same spot that it was in before, but because the liquid didn't move around, I'm not picking up any new product. That's kind of hard to explain, but I hope that you understand what I'm saying. This is a pretty color. It blends out so easily, and like once it's set, it's set. However, mine might be a dud. Like I don't think it's supposed to be this formula. Please let me know down below. And some palettes. Okay, 
This is a palette, it's four shades, but the price point of this is cheaper than a lot of those single pans. So you maybe, maybe you wanna consider this route because I think this is one of the best options in this video. And it is the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder Palette. That's such a long name. They also have a highlighter palette in this packaging that I really like. It's nice to have the four options. I would say I almost only use these two shades. These two are way too dark to be a bronzer for my skin tone, but I have used these a few times as eyeshadows. This is so smooth. It blends out so easily and it's matte, but it's not a flat matte look. I mean, it doesn't have any sheen to it, but it's not like a dry powdery finish on the cheeks. And it's $9.99 for all four. So this one's definitely giving you the most bang for your buck. Another palette, would you guys call this a palette, is this. You saw this in a video earlier this week, in a declutter video, but I'm obviously filming the same day. If you watched the declutter video, it's the same day. I wanted to mention this in this video before I actually get rid of it, get rid of it. But based on the fact that I'm decluttering it, you can probably guess my review. This is from the brand Undone. It is their warm-up bronzer. They call it the 4-in-1 Radiance Palette. This one, I still think has an audience. I think there are people out there that would really like this because it's incredibly pigmented. The You have four different slivers in here, two different bronzer tones, two different highlighter tones. The highlights are super bold, very like over the top 2017 style of highlights. And if that is up your alley, you'll probably really love these. The bronzer, a little bit goes a long way. It is so pigmented. The undertone, again, it's one of those where like it looks a little orange on the cheeks for me. And because it's so pigmented, I find on my paler skin, like I end up go getting like way too much. It's easy to blend out still, even though it is super pigmented, but I just don't really enjoy this formula as much as I enjoy a lot of the other ones. My top recommendations would be these four, the Flower Heat Wave if you want something a little bit more glowy, the Milani Silky Matte just overall, the e.l.f. Primer Infused is so similar to the Milani. And then if you wanted a palette, definitely go with Essence. I hope this was helpful and you guys are enjoying Affordable Friday so far. Thank you so much for watching and I will go ahead and see you in my next one. Bye.